Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this together and you'll see that it's much easier than it looks. So it's negative eight to the three T plus two power. Now this power is a binomial. It has two terms in it. We're used to seeing things like negative eight to the power of three. So how do we go about solving this? It's very simple. We start by breaking this binomial into the two parts. So we do negative eight to the three T power and then we're gonna do negative eight to the power of two. So let's go ahead and start with negative eight to the power of two. That's negative eight times negative eight, which is equal to 64. So we now have negative eight to the three T power times 64. So we can go ahead and break this apart further. Let's part break apart the three and the T. So we'll do negative eight to the third power and then negative eight to the T power times 64. So negative eight to the third power is negative eight times negative eight times negative eight. Negative eight times negative eight is 64. 64 times negative eight is negative 512. So we now have negative 512 to the T power times 64. And that will be our answer. You can leave it as that, or you can rewrite it as 64 times negative 512 to the t power all right let's go ahead and do this again and you'll see how much easier it is now that we practiced it once so we're doing 5 to the 2t plus 3 power we're going to go ahead and break apart this binomial into two parts we're going to do 5 to the 2t power times 5 to the third power 5 to the third power is 5 times 5 times 5 5 times 5 is 25 25 times 5 is 125 so now we have 5, 2t times 125. Then we're going to go ahead and break apart this 2t. So 5 to the second power and 5 to the t power times 125. 5 to the second power is just 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So we have 25t times 125. And that will be our answer. But we can also write it as 125 with 25t in parentheses. All right, well done you guys and I'll see you in the next one.